let's find the integral from 1 to 2, 3 over x times 2 minus square root of x, dx. Well, let u equal the square root of x, and so du is 1 over 2 root x, dx. And now when I integrate this, here, when x is 1, u is equal to 1. When x is 2, u is equal to square root of 2. And when I multiply both sides by 2 root x, I have 2 root x du equals dx, but root x is just u. So that's 2u du equals dx. So now we're going to replace dx with 2u du. And the bottom x is just, well, the square root of x is u. That means x is u squared. I'm going to have 2 minus u. U's are going to cancel here. And I can factor out, this is 3 and 2, that's 6. I can pull that out. Integral from 1 to square root of 2. 1 over u times 2 minus u du. Now at this point, I can split this up into two separate fractions. So in order to do this, uh, I'm going to use partial fraction decomposition. So we'll have 1 over u times 2 minus u. That's a over u plus b over 2 minus u. Multiply both sides by u times 2 minus u. If we let u equal 2, that means 1 is equal to 2b, and which means b is a half. If I let u equal 0, I have 1 is equal to 2a, so a is also a half. So then this is just 1 half over u plus 1 half over 2 minus u. Okay, so that's what we have here. And now I can integrate this, so I'll pull out the 6. The antiderivative 1 half over u is just 1 half ln epsilon value of u. And for this one, you can choose to do a substitution, but um, if you want, you can say like, okay, v is 2 minus u, dv is uh, negative du. So that means du is negative dv. But basically what happens is, this is just negative one half ln epsilon value two minus u. And then we're going to evaluate this from one to square root of two. Uh, so the first thing we could do before we do that is just distribute the six. So we have six, uh, so you have three ln epsilon value u minus three ln epsilon value two minus u. We have 3 ln square root of 2 minus 3 ln 2 minus square root of 2 minus 3 ln of 1 minus 3 ln of 1. So this is just 0. ln of 1 is just 0. So we don't care about that. We have 3 ln. Uh, so actually we can factor out the 3 have ln of root 2 minus ln of 2 minus root 2. And these we're just going to divide, just using the log property. Root 2 over 2 minus root 2. And at this point, you, you can leave it like this, or you can simplify. So um, you can multiply the inside by 2 plus root 2 if you wanted. So this would be 3 ln 4 minus 2. On the top is 2 root 2 plus 2. So we have 3 ln. And then the bottom is 2. The top is 2 root 2 plus 2. Divide everything by 2. We have root 2 plus 1. And so uh, this is the final answer.